Hey guys and welcome back to another Red Crucible video. King here as always and well let's get into it. Well this is actually my first RC2 video ever on my channel and in case you guys have been living under a rock or something um yeah RC2 is back and it's called RC2 Reborn. Um yeah it costs $20 and it's on Steam for early access as of this moment. Um, yeah, when we first heard about the game being $20, a lot of uh, players were kind of mad about that, as we saw on Discord in my previous video. Um, well, it depends on, you know, region. But for the US, it's $20 USD. Um, now, after thinking about it for a while, I was like kind of uh, complaining a lot about it in my previous video. But after thinking about it for a while, $20 isn't too bad. I mean, I can't speak for all players, but... It's a deterrent so that, you know, hackers don't, you know, make new accounts, hack the crap out of RC2, and just destroy everything and ruin matches for everyone. Because they're not going to pay $20 to make an account and then get banned for it for using hacks, so that's pretty nice. Um, and anyways, an RCS, at least in its heyday, or not heyday, um, peak, I guess, I don't know. Um, yeah, a lot of players, including me, were spending a crap ton of money on this game and time. Um, yeah. I'm still kind of sad that I can't transfer any of my weapons whatsoever into RC2 Reborn, but... Oh well. Okay, um, this video is just gonna be my first impressions on the beta or pre-alpha or whatever it is right now. I'm not going to put any gameplay in this one, I will put some gameplay into the next video that I'm making, please excuse the si sirens in the background, as always, it's always happening when I'm recording for some reason. Regardless, um, okay, for those that haven't gotten RC2 Reborn yet, or just got it, get the Assassin Bundle while you still can. It's limited, I don't know if it's coming back, but if you look here, it includes the freaking Band Hammer. The band hammer. Now, I don't know about RC2, but I do know that, well, yeah, I saw Dropkick Tondo using it, and I've seen other devs using it um, during my time playing RCF. And previous to this, the band hammer was a dev exclusive weapon. Now, I think they still have a few more. I don't really remember anymore. I remember Dropkick Tondo had this like Bowser shell on his back. He had this uh, Fez or something on his head that could fall off, which is pretty cool. And the band hammer. I don't remember... Oh wait, there was also the flaming pig, but that ended up being released in a war chest in RCF, so there is a platinum and a gold version um, available for all players in RCF as of right now. Um, but that was, or used to be, a dev exclusive weapon, even though they put it on the Steam trailer. It's interesting. For RCF, of course. Um, so yeah, get this while you still can. 1,000 honor points isn't too much of a grind. Um, I played like about a total of two hours on this account. Uh, not that much since this game came out two days ago. I've been spending my time playing other games. But originally I thought I wasn't going to get this, but I was like, you know what, what, whatever. It's for the memories, nostalgia. It's been too long since I've played RC2. And yeah, but take note. Since it's in pre-alpha, and I don't know if this is going to change or not, but yeah, there are no tiers in RC2 Reborn. In RC2, we had tiers 1 to 12 and um, levels 1 to 35, same as it is in RCF. But yeah, there's no tiers, there's no level pools. You're just thrown in with everyone else, and I mean, that, that could be a good and bad thing. I'm pretty sure what they did for RCR was that like levels 1 to 3 or something um it was just against other level 1 and 3 players i don't know if what i'm saying is correct or not i don't remember anymore it's been too long and then um after that you would be thrown into a pool with the rest of the players so you wouldn't be destroyed and deterred from playing the game by all the people with premium weapons i don't know if that's going to happen with this game yet because the player base for rt2 reborn isn't that big quite yet it is still in pre-alpha, and it, it still costs $20. I don't know if that price is ever going to go down. I'm assuming not, unless there's a sale, but... 
yeah. But as I was saying about tiers and levels, that kind of ruins the point of having this class system here because, I mean, each weapon costs 400 honor points, which isn't that much, but I would much rather spend my HP knowing that these weapons, there's no point in unlocking the next one because there's no tier progression. I would much rather go to the store and buy one of these weapons. Now, compared to RCF, most of these weapons are a lot cheaper. Well, they're all cheaper, but like at different fractions or, you know, ratios. Like the Vortex B is 2,500 honor points. In uh, RCF, I believe it's 40,000 honor points or 400 gold. Oh yeah, by the way, there's no gold in RC2 Reborn. I forgot to cover that. That's pretty obvious. Um, yeah, you cannot make any microtransactions in this game. You have to grind. There's only honor points. There's no other way of getting honor points or gold. Just have to grind. And personally, I'm going to get the Vortex B first just because it's 2,500. I just need it, like another 900 honor points. I'm going to get that. And then, yeah, silver class weapons cost 6,000 and then gold weapons cost 10,000. So interestingly enough, there are some weapons that don't follow this ratio, I guess. I mean, the minigun black costs 20,000, sorry. That's double the price of the other gold class weapons, which are under the premium tab. And like the freaking RPG is 10,000 also, the price of the gold weapon. Um, so yeah, that's interesting. And like the AK-47 is 7,000 instead of like 6,000, but you know, minor details in the shotgun. Kill those shotgun. Um, premium weapons, yeah, they're, they cost 10,000. That's 10% of what it costs on RCF, which is actually pretty amazing. When I, when RGS said it would cost a fraction of what it costs in RCF, I was picturing like at least, at the minimum, 30,000 honor points, but 10,000 honor points, I can live with that. The grind won't be too bad. Personally, first weapon I'm gonna get after I get the Vortex B is the Groza M, because the Groza M was the very first weapon and only premium weapon that I had when I still played RC2. After RCF came out, that's when I started dumping a lot of time and money into the game. Um, I am still kind of upset that I can't transfer any of my weapons from RCF over to RC2 Reborn, but yeah, I was kind of expecting that, to be honest. But, oh well, after I get that, I'm gonna get the M82 Predator because, oh my god, the old model of it was my favorite. The new RCF model, uh, not my favorite thing in the world. I do still love the weapon in RCF, but I don't know. I'm also kind of upset that they uh, updated the Golden Dragons model to the exact same as the M82 Predator and then just changed it to gold. But that's besides the point. RC2, it has the old models, almost everything is the same except for the class system as I was saying. Same thing goes for the armor, there's literally no point in getting these. Unless of course for you know, customization, but seriously, first, get the assassin bundle, it comes with the freaking band hammer. That's so much better than the standard bayonet you get here, I mean the range is a lot better too. And I will say this, I really missed this, but you know, knife only matches, they're everywhere and it's just good. It's a lot of fun. And everyone has band hammers, and I will say I didn't miss this that much, but this was an RCF for quite some time, and then Argus decided to remove it at some point. But whenever you swing your melee weapon, you do scream die still in RC2. So, that's great. Um, yeah. Until then, I'm just gonna be sticking with my AJ-74, but yeah, it goes M and Vortex B, here it comes. Now, for those of you guys that are still thinking about getting this game, I would recommend personally to wait until there is a Steam sale of some sort. And RC2 is like 10 to $15 because $20 is still quite a lot and yeah. But if you decide to get it, I don't know how long the freaking uh, Assassin Bundle with the Band Hammer is going to be here, so that's always an incentive to like, hurry up and grind. I will say this though, um, let's see if we can show you, if we go to browse matches, yeah, see, they're literally all night only servers, which is pretty nice. Yeah, there's not that many servers up and running at the moment, um, yeah, all the old RC2 maps are back, uh, yeah, the only issue is, like, I'm not high enough level yet, so I can't 
access those, unfortunately, so I'm pretty much stuck with all the RCF maps, except for, you know, the trace. Uh, but, yeah, and Island X, obviously. Actually, I don't know if I can play those. Um, anyways, something I will say that is kind of unfortunate to me, no offense, but um, to some people, but about 95% of the people playing RC2 Reborn right now are from Brazil. I know that Brazil is a huge supporter of RC2. Um, you know, after RCF launched, a lot of people migrated over to RC2 Brazil, and uh, yeah, that survived for quite a few more months, and then it was shut down a few months back, and a lot of RC2 Brazil players are really sad about it. But the company that was running RC2 Brazil servers was not affiliated with RGS at all, so whatever money that the RC2 Brazil players had spent basically was all gone. They could not transfer any of their data over to RCF at all. At all. I can't speak English. And uh, yeah, they basically had to start all over again or just give up on RC series. But now that RC2 Reborn is back and officially supported by RGS, they're coming back. And Jesus, they are coming back. I mean, every single match that I've played so far for the past two hours, um, yeah, I can't understand Portuguese, unfortunately. I did take Spanish for four years, but... Yes, Portuguese and Spanish are similar, but they're not the same language, and I suck at Spanish anyways. So, I can't communicate with them. I mean, I know cuchillo means knife, I mean, there's that. Um, but, yeah. So just keep in mind, if you are getting RCT Reborn, there are a lot of Brazilian players. I've met, like, maybe three other players that speak in English. Um, during my time playing RC2 Reborn. But then again, that's only a two hours of gameplay, so we'll have to see how this goes. I mean, it is still in beta or like pre-alpha or something on Steam, so give it some time. Once the sale happens, it's probably gonna get a lot more players because I do know that a lot of players still want to play RC2 Reborn but don't have a spare $20 on them. Um, so yeah. I don't have much else to say at the moment. I will make a gameplay video when I have some time on my hands, but yeah, I'm just gonna keep grinding. Um, anyways, thanks for joining me, guys. Um, see you in the next one.